I'm a consultant, so I, I run a department, a number of departments. But in, in, in the department I'm in today, one of the things is we have a, we do a lot of group work with with um, young women and young men who self harm. Mm -hmm. And you know, image and kind of self awareness is, is is a huge part of that. And that kind of difficulty in the kind of who am I versus who are we, mm -hmm. and wanting to be an individual but also needing to conform. The community that a lot of young people are kind of working out their self-identity within is quite perverse at the moment, and, mm -hmm. and they need a lot of support and a lot of guidance, and, and we can see they're struggling. The interesting thing, I think, about social media is how it pushes young people into a really difficult place where they're looking at issues around identity, but within a space where they have to conform 24-7. Mm -hmm. What I see with the young people I work with is this constant need to curate their image, really kind of to levels of, of huge anxiety around kind of herd acceptance. And I think that also touches in some way on something we spoke about before, which was resilience. So the question we've all been asking is, why are we seeing children who come from backgrounds where you would think they would flourish struggling? And what is it about these children that instead of learning to bend and bounce back, which is resilience, mm -hmm. when they hit adolescence, they break? So what it links to is the development of the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the HQ of the brain. It's the part of the brain that makes us human. It's to do with rational thought. It's to do with the ability to differentiate between fantasy and reality. It's to do with behavioral self-management. It's the part of the brain that we domesticate in children in order to be social beings, mm -hmm. in order to be me, but in order to be us. Mm -hmm. Now, what we know at the age of 13 is a massive shift in prefrontal cortex development. So adolescents behave like toddlers because the prefrontal cortex begins to replicate that of a toddler again because the architecture starts to shift to prepare the adolescent for individuation. In order to leave your core family group, you have to individuate, you have to develop your own sense of self. The question is, if we raise children in captivity, we are disabling them from taking the risks that Im are imperative for development in order to learn how to be resilient. Mm -hmm. And resilience is about the, having the ability to fail and seeing it as part of life.